Hi, I'm Rich Harris, and in this episode of my Back to Basics series for Video Jug, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's my crispy sea bass with fennel and apple sauce. Before I show you how to fillet a fish, let's get on with the slaw. So take a mixing bowl, and I've got some finely sliced red onions here, and they just go straight in, and then a little bit of caster sugar over the top and then some sherry vinegar, which has got a lovely sweetness to it. And just about a tablespoon over the top. And get your hands in there and give everything a mix together. And what that sugar and vinegar is going to do is help to soften the onion and take away some of the harshness. Now I'm going to use a mandolin. This is a great kitchen gadget, because not only can you slice things really, really thinly, you can also keep all the slices the same thickness as well. So I'm going to go pretty thin on this, because I really want to shave this fennel. Now be careful, because the blade on these can be very, very sharp. So just slowly run the fennel through the mandolin. It's really important that as soon as you slice the fennel, you get some lemon juice over the top. Because fennel can discolour really quickly, but we want to keep that lovely, bright, vibrant white colour. So squeeze the lemon over the top. And then a pinch of salt over the top. And then get your hands in, give everything a mix together. That salt is going to help to soften the fennel slightly, because at the moment it's really crunchy. And also the acid in the lemon juice is going to attack the vegetables and just help soften everything as well. And for a full list of ingredients, just check out the description box. Next up, the apple. Just cut it in half. And in half again. And remove the core. And then with a sharp knife, thinly slice the apple. Because of the apple in this slaw, it goes really, really well with pork as well. So it's quite a versatile salad. So just add the apple. And again, give everything a good toss together because you want that lemon juice to coat the apple and again, stop it from going brown. And next up, some chives. These are going to add a great oniony flavour and also just a nice bit of colour as well. So just really finely chop these. Scoop them up and add them to the bowl. And then, the secret ingredient, some little black onion seeds. These are available in all supermarkets now and just add a great little crunch and a really lovely oniony kick. So just sprinkle those over. And then finally, some extra virgin olive oil. A little pinch of salt. And then get in there and give everything a mix again. And just look at those colours. Bright, fresh, crisp. And they're going to go brilliantly with the fish. I've got a sea bass, which is a round fish. And this is a basic rule for filleting this. Take a very sharp knife, lift up the fin, and just make a diagonal incision behind the head, right the way through. Turn over and do the same again. And make the same incision straight down behind the fin. Then what you've done is loosen the head. Take the fish, give it a twist, and just cut through. By removing the head, you just make this next stage a lot easier. Take the fish and lay it tail facing away from you. Press down to make the skin taut. Then you want to run your knife all the way along the backbone, just to the left of the fins. Now just make sweeping strokes along the length of the fish and you'll hit a ridge in the middle. And just flick your knife on that ridge and that'll start to release the fish. Now turn it round, pop your knife straight through and then along to the tail and that releases the fillet. And then cut the fillet back the other way. So there we have one fillet. Once you've got the fillets off, just give them a clean up. So take your knife and just pull off any bones from the rib cage. And then just slice straight down to remove the belly, because this fatty white belly is not that tasty at all. And then we want to remove these bones that run along the middle. They, these are known as the pin bones. Get yourself a pair of these, these are pin boning tweezers. I find it's really useful to have a little ramekin of water next to me. So, Grip it, pull up, and then just shake the bone off in the water, and that just helps loosen it. And just use your thumb, drag down like that, and you can feel if there's any bones left. So I can feel there's one there. Once you've removed all the bones, take a sharp knife again, and then just score the skin. And this is going to help the skin to get really, really crispy, and also help the fish to cook evenly. When I'm cooking a fillet fish like this, I always oil the fish and not the pan. So just a little drizzle over the top, and then just rub the, rub the oil into the skin. 
and that way you get just the right amount. And then a generous pinch of salt over the top. And again, this salt will help to make the skin really crispy. So now this fillet's ready to fry. Just turn the heat on. And I add it quite early on. So this pan's not gonna be that hot and you're not gonna get a massive sizzle. The reason for doing that is by cooking the skin quite slowly and bring it up to a high heat, you're gonna make it really, really crisp. Add a pinch of salt to this side. And then with a fillet this size, you can pretty much cook it all skin side down. And what that's gonna give you is really, really crispy skin and beautifully cooked flesh because the skin's gonna protect the flesh and essentially it's gonna sort of steam on the inside. What you're looking for here is a golden edge on the skin and also the flesh turning white. When this white flesh has started to meet in the middle and is almost cooked through, you can turn the fish. It's really, really important when you're cooking a fillet like this that you don't shake the pan, you don't keep moving it round or turning it. Just leave it to do its thing. Otherwise, you're gonna get air between the skin and the pan and then you're gonna lose that lovely crispy skin. So you can just see here that the white flesh is almost caught up in the middle. So now it's time to turn it. Very carefully, flip it over. And now you can turn the heat off and just move the pan off the heat. And there's plenty of residual heat in that pan that's gonna finish off cooking the fish. Just leave it for about 30 seconds and then you're done. So there we go, our fish is ready. All that's left to do now is serve. Just take a handful of our beautiful slaw, pop it in the middle of the plate, and then top with a piece of fish. So there you have it, my sea bass with fennel and apple slaw. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I look forward to seeing you back in the kitchen again soon. And if you've enjoyed learning these kitchen skills, click the subscribe button for more in my Back to Basics series.